Hey, what's up? Welcome back. It's been about a week and a half or two weeks since I've recorded anything. Um, no real excuse, just lazy. So I'm back. Today I'm going to do a room tour because I had a couple people ask me of my room setup. So I'm actually waiting on a client right now for a bajacial, which is just a wax and a um, ingrown hair treatment and a little like jelly mask. Nothing crazy, but I enjoy doing it. Easy money, quick. It's cool. But quickly, I can show you what's in my room so you guys can know. Okay, so this is my vajayshal setup. I have everything here. So I have, excuse my mask, but I have the cleanser. I use a powder before I wax. 10 skin is my ingrown hair treatment, quote unquote, along with uh, my little high frequency machine that's down here. So that's what I use for ingrown hairs to prevent them. Of course, the high frequency helps with killing bacteria, ingrown hairs, redness, any irritation. So I like to use that after a wax. That's my bowl that I mix my um, jelly mask in. And then I leave little wipies out just so they can clean themselves out before and after the wax. So I have that available right there. All right, so moving on. This is my little wax table. I use regular like exam paper. Um, recently, it's been really expensive to get the non-woven gauze or like paper rolls just because of COVID and everything. So I use this regular paper, but I put a towel here right where their butt goes <laughs> just because the paper rips. So like when they're sweaty or whatever, like the paper rips and it gets stuck all over their butt. So I put a little barrier protection there so that's for them and this is where they lay down I like to have this little comfy pillow this is my lash pillow but everyone loves it it's more comfortable than what actually comes with the chair I have my little tv here I either have music going in the background or the relaxing music up here of course hand sanitizer before you lay down these are really products for display. I use them sometimes in my facial I love Tatcha products especially for at home I know people are against using I wouldn't say drugstore, but um, non-professional products. But I really enjoy this line. Oh, my vitamin C is twisted. This is really what I use the most, but that's all there. All right, moving a little lower, I have my little stand. So I have my refer a friend, which each client will receive 20% off if they refer anybody. I have my little YouTube cards just in case somebody wants to follow me on YouTube, of course, trying to get the sub, the subbies up. Then I have my actual business cards. So people feel free to take them when they come and see me. I have little chocolates here that <laughs> actually my cousins and my mom been like eating them more than my actual clients. And then some mints just in case anybody wants anything. So this is a little setup on the corner. Of course, while the facial is going or any treatment, I have the option to charge your phone. So I have the one where you could just lean your phone on if you have an iPhone or a, I don't know what they're called, like airless, I don't know, chargers. And then I have this little three-pronged one if anybody has like an Android or a different phone and they need a different kind of charger. So that's that. So from this section, I have everything put up because I'm not using it right now, but here's the steamer. Um, this steamer I got from Spine Equipment. I rate it a like, I don't know, six out of 10. Not the best, it's loud. Don't recommend that you get it. I do plan on changing it soon. And then this right here is my little lash cart. So I have my mirror to show everybody their beautiful lashes when they wake up from their little lash nap. I have my water if I needed to cleanse the lashes. My acetone is what cleans the, the tweezers if I get any lash glue on there. Of course, I have my temperature and my humidity. In this building, people like to play with the temperature, so I keep a close eye on it, make sure it doesn't get too hot or too cold. I keep my lash glue in one of these moisture sealing containers. Then I have my tape. I was trained with, there we go. Actually, let me move this, my fan, my little lash fan. This is where I keep my lash, my tweezers. So the tweezers go here. I prep my lashes with saline solution. I don't use any kind of primer. I feel like it works better, but you know, do whatever works for you. 
And this is my lash cart. I keep all my lash stuff here. Of course, my lashes are in cases down here. And then I do little um, lash cleansers. I give away little lash cleansers. So that's my lash cleansers, my extra tape. If I wanna practice, I have little sponges to practice. This is my drawer full of tinting supplies. So I tint lashes and eyebrows. So it's a little messy, but <laughs> the stuff isn't even in the box. I should actually throw the boxes out. But this is my little tinting supply area. And up here, I got an extra mask, little instructions for what to do after you get your lashes done. Of course, I have my hand sanitizer, a couple masks in case my clients forget, and then my lash glue shaker, but it kind of broke. So I think I need to get a new one. So that's that. It still works, so I'm not gonna invest in another one right now, but yeah, you see what I'm working with. All right, after the lash cart, I got my little ring light here. Of course, flip it around, put it on top of the client, take a cute before and after picture. Boom, that's that. This one I got off of Amazon. I prefer, I have another ring light at home. This one's Inkle Tech. It's okay, um, I would say seven out of 10. If you wanted to get a ring light, I would get a newer, N-E-W-E-R. I got that one from Amazon as well, and it's in my house, so I use it to record videos at home. All right, like I said, I'm getting ready for a wax. So this is my little wax station, super small. Like I said, my room is literally big enough for two people. <laughs> so I have everything set up here. I got these little plastic jars from Amazon to hold the sticks. So my smaller sticks are for like facial services, lip, brow, chin, whatever. Big ones for big services, legs, Brazilians, arms, armpits. Have some gauze here. I prep with Satin Smooth, so that's all my prepping stuff. Cleanser, wax remover oil, and aloe, just in case somebody is a little bit more sensitive and needs that relief. I take out the sticks that I'm about to use, so I'm not touching this while I'm doing a Brazilian. Everything is laid out already, so this is about as many sticks as I use. I use two kinds of waxes. First wax here is mermaid wax. Excuse the rim of the pot, I've been mixing it, but mermaid wax I use for cleanup and facial services. So anything like that I miss in a Brazilian, I use the mermaid wax. It is wonderful for the fine hairs. Um, yeah, so that's that. Second one is my star pill, star pill blue wax. I use this for the bulk of my Brazilians, it dries really fast, picks up all the hair. Anything that this doesn't pick up, this saves the day. So those are my two little go-tos. Oh, and I didn't mention this. This wax is the Serena wax from Mermaid Wax. Serena and Electra are the same, just different colors. So if you wanted to try that out, that's this one. All right, so I'm gonna scoop back here. We have this little wall that I did. Well, me and my cousins actually put it up. They helped me put it up. This is just wallpaper that I got from Home Depot. Absolutely love it. It really gives that textured look um it is wallpaper so no real texture but i love the way it looks everyone seems to like it all right so back wall i have these cabinets from home depot underneath i have my towel warmer and a little what do you call these sterilizers so i got the towel warmer and the sterilizer from amazon super cute super cute this is something I already had in my house. It was actually in my room, but I thought it looked cuter here. So that's a little flower from Marshalls. But I got it a while ago, so I don't know if they still have those. This baby right here is called the Ultimate Skin Refiner. It's basically a knockoff for the hydrofacial machine, but you can use all the same serums as hydrofacial. Absolutely love this one. It comes with the oxygen airbrush sprayer, a skin scrubber, and then this is the little wand that you use the suction and it sucks everything out of your skin into well these are the serum tubes and then everything gets sucked into this little place right here moving on i have my little square reader plus my google home play my music from there really convenient didn't think i needed a google home but it works when i want to play music and still be on my phone so i like it for the nosies out there, what's in my cabinets? Have to do some laundry, but I have my extra gauze and wax sticks up there. My little towels, not towels, um, 
what do you call those? Sheets, not sheets. Please help. Wraps, wraps for facials. Then I got my little towels there. I accidentally washed a pink towel with a white towel, so that's why that one has a little pink tinge, but other than that, they're okay. All right, I have my Ultimate Skin Refiner Tools box. So that little box is up here, and it goes with this machine down there. Extra bowls, extra little painter things, so I put my products in there. I don't bring the bottles when I do a facial. These are little sheets, not sheets, um, drapes, just in case somebody gets cold. Like I said in earlier videos, I no longer use sheets. So if somebody gets cold, they get paper, so it could get thrown right out. My book bag is standing on top of here with the things hanging. I should have picked that up before I filmed, but that's where I keep my personal bag. Down here, I have my mask. So I use a combination of Skinscript, Tatcha, and Image products. So here are my masks from Estimax. I have my Skinscript mask. Then I have all my tools go in one little box so I can just take it out when I'm ready for a facial. Got client samples, my little samples that I use. And then I have extra little containers if I wanted to give somebody a sample that I don't have a pre-made sample of. Okay, now to the closet, my little organized mess. I have an extra little um, cushion there. So if anybody needs cushion, I usually take that out for lashes. Then I have, of course, handy dandy Lysol. I have extra wax, extra saline, extra products, and little, I don't know, garbage bags, whatever. Three boxes of gloves, extra mask for those who don't wanna bring a mask but have to wear one anyways, I got you. And then this is all my facial stuff too. The baking soda is when I need to um, denutralize a peel or I make my lash bath with baking soda as well. So that's that. It's so all my stuff, little headbands, more cushions, comfort is everything. And then my cleaning products. So I got some Clorox wipes, alcohol, barbicide wipes. Boom. And then all my floor supplies. So sweeping, mopping, alcohol, and exam table paper. All right, so the other wall, I have a little clock up there. I like it, it's okay. It's a little loud during a facial, it kind of ticks a lot. And then this big, nice, long mirror where people can look at their lashes when they're done. And this one I got from Target, I believe it was under $100, that's cool. I mean, it was not that it's cool, but it was a nice little touch. My little cart right there. That cart I also got from Spa and Equipment. Good stuff. My front door, a little coat rack, and then my mom put her little touch on top of my door. I, I don't know if I said her mom or my mom, but my mom put a little touch on top of my door that says glamorous, and that was her little touch. I didn't want it, but she thought it was cute, and it's growing on me, so it's there. So this is it. This is my room tour. I absolutely love it here. It's my little lone space for the very first time. So always room to grow, but this is a really good start. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did and love always. Bye.